former Minister for Regional Affairs Isaac Musumba, Igara East MP Michael Mawanda and businessman Matthias Magola had been charged with extortion on the basis of a complaint by an Indian business conglomerate, Videocon. Musumba and his colleagues arrived in India over a month ago to settle a business dispute and asked for a settlement from Videocon Electronics officials worth about 20 million US dollars or 53 billion Uganda shillings. Instead, their passports were taken away and movement restricted. The matter was referred to the Supreme Court in Mumbai, which today cancelled the case against the three Ugandan nationals and castigated the Mumbai police for giving the country a bad image instead of protecting the rights of foreign nationals. The police was also ordered to release the passports of Musumba, Mawanda and Magola immediately. The judge dismissed all those people's allegations with a very strong warning about how they should conduct themselves with regard to people's liberties. Musumba also says that they were never involved in anything criminal whatsoever, instead blaming Videocon officials for conniving with some police officers to frame them. We committed no offense whatsoever. For example, they had said we have a case of criminal trespass. The judge said there is evidence that the two of you have been having business transactions. One of you went to the office of the other. How can that be a criminal trespass? The case of extortion, the judge asked, how are these facts making out a case of extortion? Did you give these people the money? If businessmen seek to try and get a settlement, how can that be extortion? These are false allegations which were fabricated by the police, fabricated by the other people, the businessmen on the other side, and it is regrettable because it is bringing a bad name to the Republic of India. Back in Uganda, it was relieving news for the former minister's family. Musumba's wife, Kamuli LC5 chairperson Salam Musumba, was particularly worried about his health. Naturally, as everybody would understand, we are relieved that uh, it has ended well. Because at some point I had fears that uh, because he's diabetic, that you could end up with a dead body here. Salam Musumba adds that this should be an eye-opener for government in instances where Ugandan citizens are troubled in foreign lands. I'm praying that uh, Ugandans who find themselves in such a situation will be helped faster and will be helped uh, whatever they do, what, whatever they get caught up in. There comes a time when it's only your government that can help you and this was one of them. At one point when stuck, the FDC Iron Lady had to seek the help of President Museveni to bail her husband out of his woes. There was a point at which I, I had to talk to the president about uh, Isaac. Uh, that was at the point, uh, you know, when he came to Kamuli for burial of the LC3 chairperson of Bulopa Sub County, which is in Kamuli district. For their children, it has not been easy coping through their father's ordeal. I'm really hoping it's bringing the money <laughs> because I have a budget already. <laughs> Musumba says he will return to Uganda soon but not before finishing what took him to India in the first place. He intends to pursue the compensation settlement for his client from Videocon after further consultations with his lawyers in India. I'm really hoping it's bringing the money. <laughs> because I have a budget already. <laughs>